Hello, this is Annalise Sinclair. Today I'm going to read to you Spinster by Sylvia Plath. Spinster. Now this particular girl during a ceremonious April walk with her latest suitor found herself of a sudden intolerably struck by the bird's irregular babble and the leaves litter. By this tumult afflicted, she observed her lover's gestures unbalance the air, his gait stray uneven through a rank of wilderness of fern and flower. She judged petals in disarray the whole season, sloven. How she longed for winter then, scrupulously austere in its order of white and black, ice and rock, each sentiment within border and heart's frosty discipline exact as a snowflake. But here, a burgeoning, unruly enough to pitch her five queenly wits into vulgar motley, a treason not to be born. Let idiots reel giddy in bedlam's spring, she withdrew neatly. And round her house she set such a barricade of barb and check against mutinous weather as no mere insurgent men could hope to break with curse, fist, threat, or love either. That was Spinster by Sylvia Plath, published 1956.